Mount Weld, um, again, an opportunity came up. Um, we missed it. I didn't have the money in when it first came up in October. By December, we'd raised the money, so I negotiated a farming deal. So we'll spend $100,000 minimum. We'll spend $500,000 to earn 50%. So again, this is a couple of kilometers away from Mad World. Um, it's a bullseye um, magnetic target. We did ground mag over the area, refined the targets at the beginning of the year. Uh, we put a POW in um, about a week ago, and I expect that'll take, you know, um, maybe another couple of weeks. Uh, we've gone out of tender with drill rigs and obviously drilling companies, the prices uh, People have been sharpening their pencils, so the good news about the markets at the moment is that drill rigs are available and the quality of the drillers and um, drill jockey geologists are more readily available than they were this time last year. So that again, that's binary, you know, who knows what it'll be, but if it is a um, carbonatite rare earth, you know, we're off to the races. It's next to, you know, a monster, the world's largest rare earth deposit, uh, a couple of kilometers away. Never been drilled before. Um, it's on under about 80 meters of transported cover sand um, and so you know it's not really deep drilling. Mount Weld you may be familiar actually outcrops right so that's kind of a no-brainer whereas this sitting just west of it is uh, is undercover. Do you see any similarities in the... At Mount Weld it's a geophysical target, uh, absolute ball terror, you know just sits out there and, and that's what we're drilling. We've, we've, I think we've got 2,000 meters planned, so what's that, 10 holes for 200 meters each nominally. So the plan is we'll be uh, intersecting the targets at about 80 to 100 meters. We drill 100 meters into them. Um, carbonatites are quite uh, layered and complex, right, in terms of the different RE uh, rare earths and in, and in fact the, uh, the iron oxide as well. And um, yeah, so we should know where we set that by the end of the uh, second quarter of this year.